awesome thing of the week. I think it came on the tail end of CES. I'm not sure 100% if it was talked about at CES. But it's called – there's a company called Endless, and they're going kind of after that one laptop per child market. Mm-hmm. But they're solving it through a PC. And the cool thing I thought was – cheapest model comes in at $79 and it's kind of I really like the look of the computer it's kind of like an inverted teardrop or no it's kind of like a teardrop but it has like four pointy things at the bottom or maybe it looks like a ghost from Pac-Man I don't think I really don't think we're describing this very well for our audio listeners (laughs) so it looks kind of like a pod I I, now I feel like we're playing like like that drawing when there's a draw or something um no it looks like a pod think of face hugger from um from half-life if we're gonna get that that level of geeky um but no yeah it's like a it is like a little pod that is um uh beside your computer and and there's like one port on this thing so I don't oh, No, there's multiple ports. Look on the, so, well, I mean, so on the, the front end port, that's right. the USB port. Okay. If, if you scroll down, you'll see there's kind of like a ball oh, okay. version. And then there's like the ghost from Pac-Man version and the back of it. And the cool thing that I thought was, is that keeping in mind that these are, these are meant for kind of underdeveloped countries and whatnot. So they're coming in at that $79 price point. Wow. Um, so you're getting a gig of Ram, um, 24 gig of storage, you're getting wired Ethernet, USB 2.0 ports, HDMI, and composite video, um, and a headset and combo mic jack. Um, what I thought was kind of cool about this is that they're trying to make it where it plugs into any TV. So okay. I thought that was kind of a neat concept versus the trying to get a, get it to a laptop type form factor that comes in at a more expensive price point they're trying to get this thing to where it hooks up to to virtually any any tv and then it has an operating system on it that's that's pretty low-end unix linux but it it's meant to run on low-end hardware and it's it's uses the power of the cloud um so i thought it was a it was a a very neat concept and hopefully it, it this this really takes off I, I, this, this looks like you know and, and i love the idea of these like maybe even not uh, underdeveloped con- con- uh, uh countries but something you know like we look at like raspberry pi or something like that right like oh that's a thing i can just plug into over here and it does a thing right like if you're looking at maybe yes. even home, home automation kind of things or, or something is it even running like is it running windows or is it running some kind of uh linux no it's running a, it's running a flavor of linux called okay. endless okay so you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get your your Linux type applications. You're probably gonna get Firefox and Chrome. And I saw in one of the screen captures there was a Skype app and a YouTube app. And so you're gonna get you're gonna get your mainstream applications that you typically would. Wow. Um, but they're gonna this this is meant for anyone in the entire world to be able to afford. Right, right, and, and even and it, so, something like this, I feel like. This is the kind of thing, much like Chromebooks, I feel like you could throw at, you know, not as computerized people that like, I just need to get on the internet. But and, and I think when you look at the Chromebook, you're still talking about a $200, $300 price point. This is sub $100. Right. Right. So this goes back to that whole Commodore 64 slash Atari generation of buy it, bring it home and hook it up to your existing equipment. Mm-hmm. So pretty much all you need is a, a TV. I like it. Yeah, because, I mean, like, yeah, the Mac Mini kind of concept, right? Right. Um, I, I, we just did this where, uh, so so the, the iMac was starting to uh, kind of uh, uh, fall off. It was a 2010 iMac uh, at, the, at my one client. So I was like, just just get a Mac Mini. It's all you need. Just get make sure you have at least this spec. So it was like the second tier up. Make sure you you, you, you top out that RAM. And, uh, and I'm just scavenging for uh, 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 monitors. From around the office <laughs> to, to to kind of fill that gap. I missed the giant IMAX screen, but but still, it's just like I'm not gonna make you spend another three thousand dollars on an IMAX just for the one day a week I'm in here. You know, um, just just get this thing. Just it's fine. You know, and and, and we're good to go, and we're up and going. So for for under a thousand, well, in that case, under a thousand dollars, but still, um, it kind of comparative to something like this. So mm-hmm. I like this. I love this concept. Um, and I hope it gets. I hope these little pod people make it all around the world and help people get online. <laughs> so, and I'm seeing that when you, you know, you really do see that on the other side, 
uh, the, the the ghost kind of thing more. Like it's got a little mm-hmm. with all the ports and everything like that. So awesome. 